What's up, everybody? This is Roger Del Martin of Vengeance Rising. Today, we're going to be looking at the song Salvation. It is hardcore. So, get your bass guitars, get your thinking caps on, and let's boom, 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 do it! Folks, we're looking at Salvation off the first album. Here's the lick. Just like that. We learned that. We basically learned the whole song, okay? So let's take a look at it real quick from the musical standpoint. Uh, basically, this lick is five beats. We're in 4-4 four, four timing. Four beats per measure, one, two, three, four, and a quarter and a quarter note gets one beat. So basically this whole thing is sixteenth notes. <clears throat> and and uh, we're gonna add another beat, which is uh gonna be the first beat of the next measure. So we're we're counting these one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, on and on. All right, so what we have is sixteenth notes, one E and uh, two E and uh, 3 E and a 4 E and a 1. We have rest. All these, they're all 16th notes. We have a note here. Rest, rest, and then a note. A note, rest, rest, and then a note, and three rests. So we've got two rests in this beat, two rests in this beat, and three in this last one. So it's like this. Just like that. What We're hitting this note and this one. This one and this one real quick, but we have to put the rest in here. So here we go again. Just like that. One E and uh, two E and uh, three, uh, four, uh, five, like that. So that's how it looks from a musical standpoint. Okay. This thing is in the is in E Dorian. Okay, the E major shell. And once again, it's in E, but we're we're doing a different mode, which is the Dorian mode. Okay, uh, here's the E major scale. The Dorian sounds like this. The Dorian scale is used by a lot of blues players. B.B. King is the more, one of the most famous. So we have elements of blues in this, okay? We also have an element of jazz. In jazz, there's, there's a thing called call and response, where uh, a jazz player might play this lick, and then another instrument might go, answer him is like, and here's an answer. Call and response. That's like when someone says, thank you. We respond with, you're welcome. Okay? Call and response. Call and response. So, we have an element of jazz right there. Okay? Also, we have an element of speed metal, which is... We've got that in there. We've got speed metal in the vocals. We've got punk also. A punk, punk vocals. Uh, Roger Martinez, he tore up Jack on this song. And he really showed uh, a lot of the, his talent that he could do with vocals. Uh, right off the bat, uh, he states the name of the song or the whole thing. Today is the day of salvation. Is the call. We respond with... Salvation. We respond... And as salvation, we respond. And then he goes to death vocals. We respond. And then he does the Lawrence Welk thing, which is one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a what did they throw? And we respond with, yeah, Lawrence Welk's big band. So we got punk, we got speed metal, we got death metal, we got jazz, we got blues, we got big band. Is that crazy or what? Also, one of the things we did was um, we threw the one, two, three, four at the end of the song. 
Lawrence Welk did it at the beginning, and the one, the and the two, the and the three, and they'd play the song. Well, guess what? Basically, the whole song's gone, and then we count off the last beat. Is that crazy or what? That's what we did. So there's a lot going on here, right? Let's play it up to speed, about 168 beats per minute. But before we do that, let's look at the notes, okay? Um, the Dorian scale, like this, come back here. That's going up. Going down is like this. So we're, we're taking the notes down the scale rather than the ones that are up. We're going to use four notes, basically. E, D, C sharp, and A. E is one E and a two E and a D. C sharp, D, A, E. Okay? Now, what's difficult about this is you've got to put an A note in here, like E, 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 D, C sharp, D, A, E. It's the A, E. That's what it'll get you. And what you really can't hear because it's so quick, but we have to have the A in there. Yeah! Yeah! Like that. Also, uh, let's play it up to speed. Uh, not yet. What I think about, I don't think about 16th notes or anything. I'm thinking about uh, how that we punch this. Uh, uh, I'm going da 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 pow 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 pow. So I'm thinking about punching these notes. Uh, uh, one, two, three, and a, one, e, and a, two, e, and a, three, a, four, a, one. So I'm punch, punch, pow. That's how I'm thinking about it, punching these notes that have to be punched. So let's go up to speed. That's what I'm going to, that's my feel. That's 168 beats per minute. It's pretty close. Let's go for it. One more time. Like that. And that's how it looks musically. Let's take a look at it from the spiritual standpoint. When Jesus was living here on earth, one time there was a member of the Jewish ruling council. The Jewish ruling council, Pharisee, came to him at night time. Uh, he came at night. I guess he didn't want anybody to see him. Plus, maybe he had a few things he wanted to say to Jesus. And Anyway, he came to him at night, and uh, he said, We know that you are a man of God because of all the miracles you do. Uh, nobody could be without God who's doing all these great miracles. Okay, so basically, he's better enough the Lord, and the Lord could see through all that. And he knew what really was on Nicodemus' mind. Nicodemus was the dude. Jesus was the man, God in the bond. He looked at Nicodemus. He didn't uh, pay any attention to that first introduction, you might say. He said, Nicodemus... If you want to see the kingdom of God, you must be born again. Well, Nicodemus, he didn't understand that. He says, what do you mean born again? What do you mean? It was like, real, that, do you mean I have to go back into my mother's body and be born again? And Jesus says, no, 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 no. I, I can't believe you don't know this, okay? He said, flesh gives birth to flesh, but spirit gives birth to spirit. He said, you don't be... Don't marvel when I say you must be born again. He said the Holy Spirit must be born of the Spirit. And he's talked about the Holy Spirit. He said the Holy Spirit's like the wind. Now, you can hear the wind or the results of the wind, but you don't know where it came from or where it's going. It's just it's invisible. He said the same with the, with the Spirit. It goes where it wants, okay? And hopefully it's going to come out of here and go into there and into here and into here with a few people. Then Jesus said, right off the bat, here, here's the main scripture of Christian faith. He said, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that so whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And uh, the New Testament was written in Greek. There's a Greek word for the, name, for the word believe. The Greek word actually means three things. It means trust in rely on, and cling to. In other words, 
For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever trusts in, relies on, and clings to Jesus will see everlasting life and never, basically never die. Physically, but not spiritually, never die. Okay? And that is the good news. Also, uh, one thing that's different about Christianity than other religions, other religions, you got to work your way to heaven. Uh, basically, God says, okay, you got to be perfect. Here's my Ten Commandments. You do these, you can get into heaven. But the problem is, nobody can do the Ten Commandments because if you break one of them, you break them all. And then uh, you're not perfect. Jesus was perfect. Um, the wages of sin you work for is death. So if you're trying to work your way into heaven, guess what? You're working your way into the grave. But the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Okay? Free gift, the gift. Okay. Most other religions, we've got to work our way. And Christianity, it's already been done. We just have faith in what's already been done. When it comes down to salvation... The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. In other words, if you confess it, like, yep, Jesus is Lord, I'm a Christian, I love the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. There ain't no man come to heaven except through him. I believe that. I believe that. That's confessing with your mouth. And you got to really believe in your heart. You trust in and you rely on what God did for us. He paid the price. Uh, you know, it's like if you're guilty, you're guilty. He's the judge. Well, and, and instead of saying you owe $25 and you don't have it, he, God takes off his robe, gets down, gets uh, pays $25, you're paid for, gets back up, puts his robe on. That's what he did in Jesus Christ. He himself came down, took our place, paid for the penalty of sin. We believe it. We become born again of the Spirit. Yeah. It is so happening. And so I, t I took a whole bunch of stuff today and condensed it down. My original uh, podcast was 20 minutes. I've heard that people can't handle it that long. So we went a little bit shorter today. It's all about that. You guys, thank you for tuning in. I want you to have a wonderful day. Uh, play that bass guitar. Uh, learn these licks. Read that Bible. And be filled with the Holy Spirit. Peace. Love. And METAL!